And now there should be sound. Check, check, check. And now there should be sound. Yeah. Okay, good morning to everyone. I will make uh, only my analysis today because I have to go to work and I think there is also no Inspo Crypto on chain analysis uh, Monday. So let me see what is happening uh, for Bitcoin. Well, it seems bullish on the daily. Let's see the weekly, how it closed the weekly. Yes, the weekly is, uh, looks uh, even more bullish because now we have a green momentum dot and most probably, you know, the money flow is uh, still continues down, but uh, most probably we will have uh, some pop up, something like that, on the money flow as well, something like that. And this will uh, coincide also with the daily, um, with the bullish daily going up. So momentum is actually looking very nice on the weekly, on the daily. Yes, it seems we have a new wave starting to the upside. Um, at least this is how it looks. Of course, we can always dump, but uh, I think uh, it, it it might be wise to take a long position. Uh, so the four hour is not so bullish. Uh, we have some money flow, um, red money flow in the uh, on the four hour. On the three hour, uh, looks like the money flow is going up, but we are almost depleted, it seems, on the three hour. Okay, let's see the lower time frames. Two hour going up, one hour also looks nice uh, for a long 45 minute, 30 minute. Um, yeah, the, the 30 minute looks, uh, looks good, but you know, I, I always have in mind this uh, bearish price action that Bitcoin had. Um, maybe we will get rejected again. So maybe I should wait for this 15 minute to come down a little bit and then um, try to walk again. I, I walked yesterday and I, I had a 10% profit and went out. Uh, right now it seems that we are breaking the cloud here. The Ichimoku quote on the 21 minute, and yeah, there, there might be some uh, long opportunity, but uh, we are near the uh, the higher Bollinger Band, so I'm not uh, going to go long here. I'm going to sniff uh, for a long lower. Um, let's see the one hour. Yes, uh, for the one hour, we're still in the Ichimoku quote, and we we have some, uh, you know, resistance here at 19.4. I would say maybe let's see the 12 hour well the, the 12 hour the Bollinger Band is coming down um, is um, actually this misconsolidation is uh, is uh, what was the word in English I forgot uh, you know the higher and lower band is uh, narr is narrowing um, so the Bollinger Band is na narrowing and we are below the Chimoku cloud on the 12 hour. Yeah, this is the 12 hour. For sure we have some resistance here at 19.34. We will see what happens. Either we get rejected, go down or we break to the upside to 20.4. So I think if we break this level 19.3 or 4, I watch out um, carefully what happens. Then we can walk to 20.4, I would say, on the 12 hour. Daily? Yeah, daily looks even more bearish, uh, to be honest. But yes, 20.3 or 4 is uh, looks good for, for some long opportunity. This is some I'm going to be sniffing for, uh, so 15 minutes. Let's see the five minutes. Yes, the five minutes seems to be printing some bearish divergence and um, it will go down. If we have a nice um, momentum going green on the five minute, I'll pick it up to for a long position. Um, yeah, we have some uh, bearish divergence here. 
uh, on the MACD which is not uh, well actually the price is lower we don't have we're not so much divergent um, on on the price because if we had this uh, higher higher high uh, it would have been a divergence but right now it's not so divergent I would say there is some small divergence but no, nothing major uh, let me see the 30 minute mm. I'm interested in the 30 minute and there we have 19.6 and 20k again as resistance and the pivot is at 19k so this is the 30 minute okay interesting it would be interesting week to be honest and let's let's see how we can trade it it seems bullish to me uh, but yeah it seems we we have to check and wait for it wait for confirmations um, also on this picture uh, it looks like we're ho holding again an 18.5 um, support and we're not breaking that and we're going up so that's that's really bullish I would say let's see the Google Trends information the Google um, yeah, Bitcoin price interest over time so this is still bottoming out at 21 nothing major uh, still dancing here uh, I don't know when it will bottom uh, but I, I suppose when it bottoms that we either have uh, it's more logical for, for me to have a dump after this Bitcoin price uh, starts going up uh, I mean this interest in Google Trends starts going up I, I think it's more unlikely to have a pump but this may happen also this may happen now let's see here what we have uh, it's a little bit choppy here um, I, I wouldn't bet on it right now I would not bet on it right now it's just too too choppy and um, yeah we're, we're testing right now the 10 consent and I want to see what the 5 minute is doing and then I can take a position but not right now later during the day so that's it from me I'm not going to to blabber more things because I'm I, I, I'll have a busy week so enjoy the week and bye bye